You always give me the impression of someone that is sheltered in a cult. So this is a comment about me. It is always interesting to see how others perceive myself. And this is one of the interesting comment. So he said that I always give the impression of someone that is sheltered in a cult. Whatever they tell you in Islam is the truth. So you are not interested in challenging it. So he have the perception that I have never challenged Islam. And I just simply blindly follow. So that is his perspective. Although there are multiple signs that Islam is a false religion created by Satan to deceive as many souls as possible. I'm not sure whether he have ever shared these signs. And from my reaction, perhaps he sees me to be not interested in challenging it. So that's the comment and I would like to share as well my response to that comment. Interesting perception. Thank you for sharing. It is always fascinating to understand how people online perceive myself. Yes, um, so far I have been perceived in many different ways and it is always interesting how people judge you or perceive about you from you know on your online persona perhaps. On challenging what I have been told, I have gone through the experience of that phase. So, if the same questions come again, for which I have already found the answer to, I guess it may come across to people that don't know my history to assume I just brush it aside, I guess, because it doesn't seem to affect me. But for me, because I have already asked those questions myself once, and already found the answer and got it resolved that is why it doesn't really affect me right so um there are many comments that says that what about this what about this um perhaps they perceive or they assume those kind of question will become a big question for a muslim to question islam now i'm not saying that none of the question is valid many of the question is a valid question However, most of those questions I have already answered. Meaning for myself, I've gone through asking those questions and hence, whenever the question comes again, because I already found the answer to that question, I'm not affected by those questions because I have resolved those questions. But perhaps because I do not elaborate on what is the answer, perhaps they perceive as if I just ignore it. Right? So one of the reasons why I rarely address certain type of questions um, when the intention is just you know to throw that to me and perhaps to see if I would re re rethink or you know think again about my position that that question is already addressed not a problem and I don't think they are interested in knowing the answer because the intention is not to discuss about that point they just use that question to to challenge my position so that's why i rarely you know go at length to address those questions for others especially i when i don't think they are even interested on that answer so if that is why i'm perceived as uh, not challenging uh, the religion etc rest assured most of the questions that you know have been commented on my videos uh, are questions that I have myself gone through, seek for the answer, and found the answer once upon a time. If there are any question that I have never asked before, normally I would go and dig into it and sometimes share the question uh, and, and what I found basically, right? So that's it. But interesting um, that I and I wonder how many of you perceive me as someone that is, you know, uh, sheltered in a cult. Feel free to comment. I would like to know if actually the majority of you see me the same way as this guy see me. Feel free to comment. Interested to know. Thank you for watching. See you next time.